It's time for Art Lab with your favorite mad scientist, Dr. Archibald Kerfuffle. <laughs> Today's experiment, color experiment using chromatography. Is this thing on? Carol, did you turn the video on? Oh, oh, uh, hello, my art scientist. It's me, Dr. Archibald Kerfuffle, and I'm here in my secret laboratory doing a color experiment using chromatography. <gasps> What's that long word? Chromatography? Why, chromatography is used in chemistry, and it means to unmix a mixture. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. We are going to take a color and unmix that color using only washable markers, paper towels, and ice cubes. Are you ready to do this experiment with me? You are? All right, let's get going. Today we're going to be doing a color experiment based on the concept of chromatography. And chromatography means when you separate a mixture to show all of its different parts. So for color, how to unmix a color. Now we're talking about color because color is the third element of art, which is incredibly important. So today we're going to do a fun experiment all about color. What you need to do th for this project is you're going to need a baking sheet in order to avoid getting messes on your table. So you can lay down your baking sheet. You're also going to need about five sheets of paper towels. You're also gonna need about 10 uh, ice cubes and you're gonna need washable markers. Make sure that these uh, markers are washable markers, not Sharpie permanent markers, or else it won't work. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to, let's take our first sheet of uh, paper towel. Why don't we go ahead and let's just use our pinchers at the top and just rip it in half. Now it doesn't matter if it's not a perf if, if it's not perfectly ripped in half. We just want to take a little bit off. And we're going to place it on our baking sheet. Okay? Now, let's get out first our black marker. Okay? Now, black is a color that's not in the rainbow, and it's really hard for us to know how to get black as a color. Well, this experiment's gonna show how, what the marker company did to mix together to get up this black color. So what we're going to do is, let's take out our black marker, take the cap off, and just in certain places on our paper towel, just color in a little section purely with that black marker. Leave a little space, Maybe color in a little bit over here. Color in over here. Just leaving some spaces in between these little colored in sections. Right in here. And let's do one more. Right in here. Notice how I left some space in between. Okay, now that I have my um, black marker colored in little areas on my paper towel. What I'm gonna do is, I'm going to take one of my ice cubes, and if your ice cubes are fresh out of the freezer and they don't have a lot of water on them, what you can do is you can rub them in between your hands, warm them up in your hands till they become a little bit more melted, and then you can place your ice cubes on top of the different sections where we colored in with our black marker. Now, what this experiment is looking for is what colors were mixed together to get this black marker. And this experiment is gonna reveal the secrets of what colors were mixed together to get that black. Notice already, if we look, the water from our ice cubes 
is being absorbed by the paper towel. And what that paper towel and water is doing is that it's pulling the ink away from our ice cubes. As the paper towel is absorbing the ink, it's pulling it away. And if we look very closely, what sort of colors are we beginning to see? You're right, depending on your marker, the black marker is actually separating into a reddish brown and also some sort of purpley color and blue. And that is because all those color inks were mixed together to make the black ink of our marker and now they're separating apart. So you can go ahead and watch how your marker is being pulled away to create all the different types of colors that were mixed together to get the black. And it creates this awesome tie dye effect. Now you can leave it there to just keep absorbing all those ice cubes. And let's get out our second half of our paper towel, okay? We ripped it in half, let's get out the second one. Now, while our black marker is being um, pulled away and absorbed, let's experiment with some of our colored markers, okay? So you can get out your different colors of your washable markers. And on our second paper towel, let's do this experiment where maybe we'll start doing the different colors of the rainbow. So up to you, but I'm gonna first start off with the last color of the rainbow. I'm just going to fill in some purple. And then after purple, I'm gonna do my blue. Notice how I'm not being very careful. I'm leaving some white spaces in between. That's totally fine. I'm also gonna do then my green. And maybe I'll do my yellow. And then last but not least, I'll fit in my orange. I kind of ran out of space. If you have a room, you can add a little bit of the red and then we'll have the full rainbow. There we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is the same sort of experiment. I'm gonna take my ice cubes. You can either take them off of your other color experiment or you can get new ones, but I'm gonna place my ice cubes now on top of these new colors that I have on my paper towel. And in fact, if you have a larger piece of your paper towel and you need more ice cubes, that's fine. You can add even more. There we go. Now already look to see how the water that's being absorbed by the paper towel is pulling the, the ink away from the ice cube and outward. It's absorbing it and pulling that ink away. Now let's go into warp speed to see how this um, will look after our ice cubes have melted for a bit. Now that our ice cubes have melted for a little bit, I can take off my ice cubes, put them back in my bowl. And let's take a look at the effect. Wow, so beautiful. Looks so tie-dye effect. Notice how where our ice cubes were, it has turned white and the color has pushed itself to the outer edges. Amazing. So now that we have these two color experiments, let's have them dry um, so that we can do other ones. So what you can do is you can take out one of your sheets of paper towels 
And let's put one of our color experiments, the black, on one side. Let's put our other one on the other side. And let's put that in some area out of the way that's nice and safe for it to dry. Okay, then we can get out another paper towel. Let's rip it in half again. Let's take that one half and wipe off our baking sheet just to get all that extra color off. Great, and we can discard that, put it on the side. And you can get off that second half. Now this time, you can put together any color combination that you would like. So why don't we take, say, yellow. You can pick any colors, but I'm just gonna pick yellow. And then right overlapping it, I'm gonna do green. Okay, right next to it. Then maybe elsewhere I might pick red and blue, kind of overlapping them. Another side I might do purple, black. You can, you can pick any colors you want. I'm just picking random colors. But I'm just picking two different colors that I'm curious to see if they uh, mix together with the water, what would, what would happen? Okay, so I'm just whoops, taking two random colors, kind of overlapping them, leaving some space in between. And almost ready for my ice cubes. Okay, that seems pretty good. So now that I have uh, different kind of color combinations placed on my paper towel, I'm gonna take my ice cubes again and I'm gonna lay them on top of my color combinations. You can see already the ink is starting to travel outward <laughs> and the colors are moving. So cool. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna put this again in warp speed just so that you can see how these colors move and absorb. All right, that seems pretty good. Um, I'm gonna take off my ice cubes. And I'm gonna look to see what my color combinations came out as, as the water kind of mixed them together. Ooh, so pretty. Beautiful. Wow, I especially like this purple and yellow combo. Very nice. So friends, what you can do is, again, you can take um, this project and you can put it off to the side. Okay, for it to dry. If there's any extra uh, kind of moisture on your baking sheet, you can take that, that towel that we use to clean up our baking sheet, you can wipe it down again. And let's do one more color experiment. So what you can do is, why don't you go ahead and rip your towel again in half. This time, let's see what happens when we do brown. Okay, why don't we do some brown. If you have a brown marker, you can use brown marker. Or if you don't have a brown marker, you can use any color marker, really. And I'm gonna just put some spots with brown. Maybe I want to jazz it up and I'll put some of that black in between too. Again, you can use whatever colors you want for your color experiment. I just wanted to show you these neutral colors. All 
Okay, so now that I've put my color down, let me get out my ice cubes again. And I can put it over on top of the different colors that I've drawn on my paper towel. like I'm running out of ice cubes. <laughs> and if that's the case, that's okay. Maybe you can break your ice cube in half. There we go. Wow, already it's starting to break up the colors. Okay, I'm gonna go into warp speed to give this a little bit more time to melt. Okay, it looks like it's time for me to take off my ice cubes just to see. Wow. This is a really awesome combo. It looks like the brown that I used had a lot of red and orange in it. Whereas as we know that black has like purple and blue and a little bit of red. These are really interesting. So now that I have these two experiments, let's get out one of those full sheets of paper towels. You can lay down one of your experiments on one half and the other experiment on the other half. And let's again, put it out of the way to dry. Now you have one last half sheet of your uh, paper towel, um, or if you have more sheets of paper towel, you can keep doing this experiment. Since I have this one last half, uh, I'm just gonna do an experiment where I'm not even putting uh, blocks of color. Maybe I'll just put some lines around of different colors and see what happens. So again, you can just experiment by maybe drawing something out, writing your name, or just putting lines up to you. Maybe I'll do that. Put different colors in different areas. <laughs> and my favorite is black, of course. I love that one. I'll put some up here. All right, for my last experiment, I just put lines around. I'll put my ice cubes on it. If your ice cubes are melting, you can just take some of that water and just drip it on your paper towel. Um, up to you, but you can place those ice cubes, those last ice cubes around and see what happens when you let these lines start to uh, be absorbed with the water. All right, I'm gonna go into warp speed just to show how this turns out. Okay, time for me to take off the uh, ice cubes again to check out the effect that it made. Wow, because I put lines on there, it kept more of the white space in between the colors. That looks really cool. All right, friends, so again, you can leave these color experiments just out to dry. You can leave them on your baking sheet. If you have access to the outdoors, you can put them outside and have them dry. Um, and once they dry, they're gonna have this cool tie-dye effect. So let me show you some of the ones that I've dried already. Okay, here are some of the ones that have dried. And you can see they've still maintained that kind of tie-dye effect. Wow, really cool. So once yours are dry, you have an option. You can leave them as is, or if you'd like to, um, you can cut or rip them up and maybe glue them down on a separate white piece of paper with just a glue stick. And you can create some, more, some different collage with these. So you can even, once they're dry, rip them up Take some glue from a glue stick, put glue on a piece of paper, and then lay down whatever you've ripped and press, 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 and you can even overlap some of these cool color experiment 
papers to make a new collage. Here, let's put one over here. Cool. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do with your all your color experiment papers, but I hope you had fun with this lesson and I can't wait to see yours. Well, my art scientists, I hope you had fun doing this color experiment using chromatography. But now it's time for us to go. See you later. How do I turn off the video? Carol! Carol, how do I turn off the video? Press the red button. The red button? Press, uh, press the red I, button. I don't see a red button. It's f Where is it? Carol? Okay. Uh, oh, I see it. Oh. This has been another Art Lab with Archibald Kerfuffle.